solve negative 5x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Okay, so first thing I want to do here is I want this to be a plus 5x squared. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation. I've copied my equation here. I'm going to put a negative 1 here and here. Now watch what, watch what happens. Negative 1 times negative 5x squared is a plus 5x squared. That's my goal is to have a plus 5x squared. Okay, but negative 1 times plus 2 is a negative 2, and negative 1 times plus 3 is a negative 3. Now negative 1 times 0 is still 0. Okay, so now that's the first thing. We want this to be a positive, so i got to change all of the signs. Okay, now this equals 0, so I want to use my zero factor property. Remember, we want two factors that you multiply together to give you zero. Okay? So I have to factor this left side here. So that's my next job here is to factor this. Okay, we copied it down. Now, no fuss factoring says put the five here and here. So we copy 5x twice. Now, mathematicians will fuss about this because they'll say, well, 5x times 5x is not 5x. But no fuss factoring says, hey, don't fuss about it, just copy it. Okay? So many people don't know about the no fuss factoring. It's a very easy technique. But it is true that 5x times 5x is not 5x, so somewhere along the line we have to get rid of a 5. Okay? All right, now... No matter which factoring technique you need, you're going to do the next step here. We want the factors of, and we're going to use 5 times 3, 5 times minus 3, really, that gives you negative 15. And then the sum of the factors here is this number here. So the negative 2 goes here. So we want two numbers that multiply to give you negative 15 and add to give you negative 2. All right? So we want the factors of 15. Okay, so you have 1 and 15. Notice my larger one is minus because when I add them, I want to get a negative number. Okay, if you add these, you get negative 14. Okay, so you're not going to get negative 2, but you are going to get a negative number because the larger of these two is negative. You want the signs to be opposite. You want a plus times a minus to give you a minus 15. Okay, now 1 times 15 is 15. 2 doesn't go into 15. 3 does. 3 times what is 15? So if I use a plus 3, I want to have a minus 5. I want the signs to be different, so I can get a negative 15. And this uh, sum of 3 and negative 5, the sum of, negative, of 3 and negative 5 is a negative 2. So we've hit our numbers here. These are the two that we want to use. Use the 3 and the negative 5. When you multiply them, you get this. When you add these two, you get this. All right? Now, remember, we have 5 times 5 is not 5, so we're going to have to get rid of a 5 somewhere. Okay? Remember, that's why we're, in a few minutes from now we're going to scratch out a 5, and that's the reason, because we put too many 5s here. No fuss. Copy the 5 and the 5, 5x and 5x. Then, once you figure this out, put your 3 over here and your minus 5 over here. Okay? Now, your next step, you're going to factor a 5 out of these two. Okay, remember I told you you had to get rid of a 5? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to factor a 5 out of these two. This is the common monomial factor of 5. Copy that down and put your 5 out here. Okay, I simply copied that down, put it in yellow, so I can see what used to be there. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times minus 1 is 5. Remember I told you a while ago that you can't have 5x times 5x to get 5x squared. I told you we were going to have to get rid of a 5 here, didn't I? Okay, that's what we're going to do right now. Factor out the 5, we get x minus 1, and then throw away the extra 5. Okay, that's called no fuss factoring. When you copy down the 5, and then you factor it out and throw it away, that's called no fuss factoring. Okay? Okay, so these are our factors for this. All right? Notice the inside terms give you negative 5x. The outside terms give you plus 3x. Negative 5x plus 3x is a negative 2x. And 3 times a minus 1 is a minus 3. So it works. Okay? All right. Now, this is one. 
This is A times B is 0. Remember we had that up there a minute ago? This equals 0. We factored it to give us these two. So if A times B, if this times this is 0, then either A is 0, either X minus 1 is 0. huh? If this times this is either, either X minus 1 is 0, or the 5X plus 3 is 0. Okay? Now, if this is 0, we're going to add 1. We're going to get x equals 1, and we're done with that. So either this is true or this is true. If this is true, subtract 3 from both sides. We'll get 5x is minus 3, and then divide by the 5. Divide this by 5, and divide this by 5. Divide that by 5. Divide negative 3 by 5. So this gives you x. This is or x is negative 3 fifths. So either x is 1 or x is negative 3 fifths. That's using no fuss factoring.